Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He is the DC-based TV show host, as well as pop culture expert. And guess what? He's spending a good portion of his time flying the friendly skies. Hmm. Racking up frequent flyer miles and living out of a suitcase has made him an accidental travel guru. Hmm. And he joins us now to share how you can travel like a star on a budget. Please welcome my friend of a zillion years, <laughs> John Murray, down to the circle. Down to the circle. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited that you're here. Listen, I'm excited to be here. Yeah. Oh Oh my God. Okay, so John, we got to get into these travel tips. Yes. Let's get into this Cabo trip because when I tell you, you was giving me life on your Beyonce poses. It's so funny. Yes. So what, what typically happens is, you know, on New Year's Eve, I'm bored. You know, I travel all year long. I don't mm. want to be traveling during the holidays. I like to be mm. close to my mama. Yeah. And I usually go to church. Okay. But this year, I said 2018 is going to be an extraordinary year. Yes. I want to do something extraordinary. So a group of my friends and I, we got together. We went to Los Cabos, Mexico. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to keep everything manageable. So yes. we found an uh, all-inclusive resort. Mm -hmm. We stayed at Secrets. And I everybody's like secrets. Secrets, secrets was cute. amazing. Like, <laughs> we, we, like, I could still be a Secrets today if yes. they wouldn't have put me out. That's it was nice. The, it was really, really amazing. And so everybody's been hitting me up saying, like, how can I do this? You know, I, I can't afford to travel like that. And I'm like, look, we were balling on a budget. Okay. All right. And you can do it, too. Like, look if it. you want to travel for the holidays in 2019, start planning now. Yeah. You can either get a, a travel agent where you can pay on it, like a layaway plan mm -hmm. all year long, or you can do it a la carte and set your own milestones. I'm going to buy my airline ticket by April. I'm going to pay my hotel by July. I get my ground, tr ground transportation mm -hmm. by September. You know, you just got to put a plan in place so you can save money and make this stuff attainable for yourself. Okay. Now, speaking of which, walk us through how we can do this on a budget. How can we travel like a star on a budget? Well, there's certain things you can do. For okay. example, um, uh, travel on a Tuesday. Tuesdays mm. and Wednesdays yeah. are the uh, least travel days. You can save so much money by traveling mm. on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Or when you, when you buy your airline ticket, go along around midnight ask, on a yeah. Tuesday night. Yeah. I was going to ask, was the, Tuesday the good night to buy? the Tuesday. best night to buy your tickets. Mm -hmm. You can save money. Uh, you get better deals. Um, also, look at your credit cards. Some of your credit cards have partnerships with airlines and hotels oh. so every time you go to the grocery store you accrue miles or you accrue points you can cash those points in uh, get money off your stay get free stay so all of that stuff will help you keep your costs mm. down do you okay. also call the uh, hotels and kind of see what they have in terms of bar a bargaining plan or try to barter with them could you do something like that well, listen if you miss quad you could call they okay. might put you up for free <laughs> I know um, that's but one of the things I also tell people is go to the tourism site if you're going to a place mm. you've never been to before go to the tourism site send them an email and say what things should I do in your town Mm -hmm. they, they might have a new restaurant that just wants people in there. They might invite you in and give you a hosted meal mm -hmm. just so you'll post it on social media to build the clientele. So there are definitely things you That's can do true. when you're going yeah. to a city. And people that. don't think about that type yeah. of stuff. Absolutely. Well, let's just talk about in the States for a second. Yeah. Absolutely. What can you do to have some fun in the sun in the States right mm -hmm. here in the U.S.? Well, I tell people to travel around their interests. So if uh, music is your thing, well, you need to go down to the Essence Festival. Mm -hmm. That's because there's no more musical <laughs> city than New Orleans. And then going down there for Essence... You get the best of both worlds. Yes, so unless right. the, the four ladies from Sister Circle want to have their girls' trip experience, mm -hmm. or you want to do like me and my friends go down there, we're the African American History Museum in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. We call this our Queen Sugar photo because we oh, were trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like it. You it know, almost like the color purple, like yeah. you expect yeah. in company. Like it was very that. <laughs> yeah. So it, like, it, so you get the best of both worlds. If you're going by yourself, you, there's 500,000 people in New Orleans mm -hmm. that you can hang out with. If you're going with your squad, you'll have a good time. Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of quad, John, I mean, uh, not quad. Hey, speaking girl. of squad. Yes. Speaking of squad, you know my squad is four. I yes. got two kids and Kiwan. Absolutely. So if I want to take my kids, uh, you know, Disney World is always a, you know, a good place mm -hmm. to take your kids. Listen, I, I watched the show, so I know that you hated uh, Walt Disney World. I did. You what did, could I, you I did not have the best experience at Disney World because you did not go for the Food and Wine Festival. Oh. They have an adult experience at Walt Disney World. It's at Epcot. It's called the Food Epcot. and Wine Festival. Let me tell oh. you, there's food and drinks from all over the world. You have the best time. And the, the festival is so long, it starts in August and goes to November. Oh. It used to be two weeks. Now it's like three months. So it's there like six months it's out of the year. Like three months, three the months whole the entire year. fall. So when you and Rashawn get off y'all fast, y'all need to go down to the Food and Wine Festival. We're going festival. down to the Food and Wine Festival, Rashawn. And then you get to meet Mickey Mouse. It, like, like That makes it all worthwhile. It, Disney's the place where grown-ups can be a kid again. Mm -hmm. And listen, if you like movies, 
Go down to the American Black Film Festival down in Miami. Mm, it's where Hollywood meets movies. South Beach. Yeah, so you can go see the Hollywood stars. You can go lay on the beach. And because I like street murals and street art, mm -hmm. they got an area in Miami called Winwood Walls. You mm -hmm. go down there and get your good social media photo right. with all that oh, street wow. art behind oh, you. So it's about maximizing the moments. Like, you know, I came to the circle today because I was in Atlanta doing a music conference. Isaac Carey's The Plug, where I'm teaching a master class on artist development. But I'm here and I'm maximizing the moments. So I'm having the best of both worlds. And you have to apply that. <laughs> when you travel. Mm -hmm. What's one travel secret? Really quickly, what's one travel secret that you can share with us? The best kept secret in the business is called Rule 240. Mm. Mm. It is a federal rule <laughs> that it works for you unless you're flying JetBlue and Southwest. Oh. Okay. For whatever reason, work. it don't work. Yeah, I work. But I any travel, so I well, don't yeah. it don't work. Any travel too. irregularity other than weather, because acts of God don't count. Right. But if the flight attendants don't show up, if there's a mechanical error, if your flight is delayed, Delta must buy you a ticket on the next thing smoking, whether it's American, whether it's United. So you go up to the desk and say, I want to apply rule 240. If the gate agent don't know it, ask for a manager. I, this rule has saved me at least three mm. times. Let me tell you, Absolutely. guess what? I'm going to roll up like this. Uh, I want to apply rule 240. <laughs> That's it. And I'm a platinum medallion. I had no idea. Well, listen, thank you so much, uh, John. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for joining us here at the Circle, and we will see you soon again. And next up, we'll read some of, our, of your tweets and what the people say.